Mechanical engineering covers a huge range of applications from nanoscale flows to ultra fuel efficient vehicles. Fourth year projects at UCL MechEng are an opportunity for students to use the theory and principles they have learned and get stuck in with practical projects. My name is Lehane Lee, I am, the, uh, I am a fourth year and I'm the team leader of the uh, former student chassis team. And Formula Student is a project where, uh, where we design and build a uh, single-seater racing car for the uh, Formula Student competition in July, and uh, that's what we do every year. So my name is Pranoy, um, I'm a team member of Pedal Progress. So our project has been focused on the creation of an efficient, sustainable and cost-effective mode of transportation to be used in Africa. So the current climate in Africa is that people can't actually carry large goods over long distance, and this is why we've developed a bamboo cargo bike. The reason why the project was very interesting to me and to my fellow colleagues was because the bike, uh, the bike is made from bamboo. Now bamboo is a sustainable resource um, and will be sustainable in our business plan where we actually look at um, introducing the initiative for the locals to grow their own bamboo to create the bicycle. Uh, so my name is Ralph Mohamed Rahimov and my project is Flow Phantom. So our project is basically modeling microvascular networks and tumors to the correct scale. So that's down to about 10 microns in diameter. Um, so the way we do this is using candy floss. By pouring a polymer resin on top of candy floss and dissolving away the fibers that are produced, we're able to get these microchannels within the clear polymer resin. And by treating these sugar fibers before we dissolve them, we're able to get this branched interconnected structure, which really closely resembles tumor networks. What's cool about mechanical engineering, um, for this project in particular, we're able to take something that is as common and basic as candy floss and apply fundamental theories and use that to do something as broad as modeling microvascular networks. So hi, my name is Aduvia Shmi. Hi, I'm Nick Kizella and uh, we're part of Team Hydrain, UCL Mechanical Engineering. Hydrain is our entrant into the Shell Eco Marathon, which is a competition where universities are pitted against each other to design and build the most fuel efficient cars in the world and we are in the prototype category running on hydrogen and using a proton exchange membrane fuel cell to power our electric motor and to propel our car forwards. My name is Dhruv Singh. The name of our project was Mark V, a tank odyssey. And it was the first time that a project such as this one had been undertaken by the four UCL students. And the four of us liaised with the tank museum to um, collaborate and basically create a set of aims which would help them preserve the tanks in their museum and this was centered around the Mark V, a British World War I tank. They suggested we look at what if scenarios and scenarios like this could involve will the tank survive if certain important or crucial members rust away? Will the tank, is it possible to incline the tank on a wedge based for public display? Hi, Hi I'm Alexi Karelius and I'm part of the UCL Triumph team. We're competing, we're building uh, two boats, or we're building an adaptable boat, and we're participating in the Hydro Contest, which is an international contest in Geneva. And the basic aim is, is to improve uh, the efficiency of boats of tomorrow. The project itself was quite cool because it encompassed like most of our engineering that we learnt over the three years. My name is Henry, I'm from Highbird, a fourth year project developing hybrid powered drones. So we uh, started the project back in the summer. Uh, it's an independent project that we proposed ourselves. Um, the aim of the project is to develop a, a hybrid-powered drone which can fly for much longer than currently available drones. So the project's useful because we can use it in many different applications that drones can't currently do. Um, we could do search and rescue, agricultural applications, topographical mapping, even delivery somewhere down the line, hopefully.